Today, we're gonna to be doing something that I feel has been a long time coming. I think it's about time that we go through and watch the reactions of YouTubers that have seen my base transformations. So if you didn't already know, this was how I kind of got my big comeuppance on YouTube. I've been doing it for years, but last August, I uploaded Transforming PewDiePie's Minecraft base. And as you can see, it did really well in views. Now, obviously, around that time, Minecraft was getting popular again, and a bunch of YouTubers were playing it. And so because they were playing Minecraft, they also had their own survival worlds, which I'm sure that you've seen them play in. I thought I would go into Minecraft and recreate their Minecraft bases and then transform them. So not only did a lot of my videos start getting a lot of views, but I was also lucky enough to have some of the YouTubers that I'd transformed their base of react to my transformation, <laughs> which was insane. So obviously I'm not gonna go through and watch each of these transformations. If you wanna check them out for yourself, then you can do on the channel, obviously. How do I start the video? Leave your entries in the subreddit pros. Right, starting with the big one, Felix. Someone, someone did like oh, here fixing <laughs> or improving boat from his back pocket. <laughs> no matter how far you've come. Never forget your route. I saw this. Someone someone did like fixing or improving, which is not fair. <laughs> I will never be able to build like this. Come on. Uh, I do love the me. Atlas Shrug the statue. That's really dope. How Jurgen one so, died. So yeah, it's only a small segment that Felix spends on it, but either way, it was just mind-boggling that he'd seen it. And I was also surprised to see it on here anyway, because I didn't even post it. Someone else must have found it through the video and posted it on here. Now, I remember when I uploaded this video, I uploaded it and I think it got, well, actually we can check. So yeah, here we go. This is the graph of the video. You can see here. So within the first day I uploaded it, I got 10,000 views. By day two, I had gone to 430,000 views, which in itself was crazy. I actually remember that same day. So the first day ticked over, I got 10K. And then when it hit the second day, it wasn't even at that. It was on like 200,000 views. And at the time I was like, damn, that's good. It's doing well. I then slept that night and then woke up and it had gotten <laughs> 1.5 million. And obviously from there, you can see it just grew exponentially. And it's insane. Like I remember at the time thinking about it and just seeing those numbers tick up. I never in a million years thought that would happen to me. Like I've tried with YouTube for a long time, years and years. And I've never had a video spike up like that. And you always think to yourself, oh, I really want that to happen to me. Or like, if I keep trying it, like it will happen. And it just, it just seems like almost, seems almost like a myth until it actually does happen. And it's, it's crazy. So yeah, he only spends a little time on it, but either way, just his acknowledgement of seeing it is mind boggling. Also, I wanted to state the fact that it was never, <laughs> I remember getting a lot of people saying that, oh, you're just doing it to like show off basically. Or like Felix also said that that's not my intention. For me, it's just, I enjoy doing it and I I saw the opportunity and wanted to do it because I was watching his series at the time. And so then once I recreated the base, I was like, well, I might as well put my own spin on it and see what I could do. Because obviously he's in survival and I'm not, I'm doing it in creative. So it's a completely different perspective. Like fixing or improving, which is not fair. But yeah, it was <laughs> never my intention to be fixing or improving or anything like that. It was just a fun concept. So not my intention to belittle <laughs> or anything like that, you know. I just did it because I thought it'd be fun. So this was a bit more of a shock. I remember at the time I had this video pop up or I had it people in the comments of my video saying that Jack reacted to it. So I went to his channel and checked this out and I saw it. And so obviously it's completely different. In this one, Felix used it in his thumbnail and mentions it briefly in the video. Jack decides to spend an entire segment on it, which is, is it blew my mind more than it already had been. So <laughs> if that's possible. Transforming Jacksepticeye's Minecraft base. That, no way. There's the bell. Holy crap. I knew what I initially had planned for his castle. However, I wanted to make a more unique- So now, yeah, when I was watching this at the time, I remember being at Top Golf with my mates and I was just sat there in disbelief and shock, honestly, because he spends such a large segment. Like, he spends su such a, I can't speak. <laughs> such a large segment on it and addressing it. It's not even like he spent a few moments on it. He's literally watching like the full video. <laughs> well, you know what? Coming out the back of the main tower, I wanted oh to make this outside walkway that leads into the rear section of the castle. It already looks so much better than mine. <laughs> no, my one's beautiful. My one's glorious. It, it was right. beautiful. I built it with very my beautiful. own Gaelic girth. Plus, I'm not in creative mode. This stuff's much easier when you're in creative mode. Exactly. Are you serious? It doesn't even Mixing look like my castle anymore. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's the point. It's my take on it. It's what I would do oh, I in my creative way. Oh, I like the flags outside the doors. Ooh, your flags are wrong, though. They're sideways. They're supposed to be green, white, gold. Yeah, I know, white, I know. <laughs> I just Seriously, had them hanging. That is absolutely incredible. I know, I know. This is 31 I know. on trending for gaming right now as well. That's I know. That 
that was the part that made me freak out the most because I at the time obviously I'd seen that he'd reacted to it but I'm also seeing my own video in the trending tab which <laughs> is insane you can see here it's number 31 on trending even he says it's insane I'm I'm extremely flattered that you even decided to do this this must have taken so much time um Trixie blocks Thank you very, very much. I'm incredibly fat. Go check out Trixie Blocks. This is a great video. Check me out, guys. It's me. a lot of creativity and a lot of ingenuity to actually build stuff like that. So thank you very, very much for taking the time to do it. I'm, He's again, just very, very humble and very blessed. And um, yeah, I admit when I watched that at the time, I was sweating. <laughs> I didn't know what to think. I was so, so happy. It was insane. Good times. Right, moving on. It's time for Laser Beam to check it out. So again, he spends a full segment of his video where he watches <laughs> and reacts to it, which is still insane. Guys, welcome back to Minecraft. Here's a cheeky time lapse of me doing some really good building. As you can <laughs> tell, I'm a master architect. Uh, I'm, I, I'm incredible at designing Minecraft bases. Obviously, I couldn't do any of this. A YouTuber by the name of Trixie Blocks transformed my Minecraft base. First, he it's recreated insane. it with super cool shaders and made it look all pretty and yeah, then yeah, he transformed cool. it to something else entirely it's a lot more dramatic <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's He's from even a few in weeks the world ago he checked so, it out. Know, the like, original d town is still there crazy. yeah he, see, he, oh, he made it a giant clock tower that's sick this makes me feel that. like the crappiest <laughs> minecraft player on the planet oh let's test giant out the thunderdome here tower. let's test mm -hmm. out the thunderdome yeah. Oh, he did a great job. Thunder Dam still he works. Fully recreated Got that work in. Oh, beautiful work, mate. Build a zero out of ten. So, uh, <laughs> you know, go check out Trixie Blocks channel. Go say and thank even you for making shout this out. build. Oh, good day, and good day. a lot of people did. A lot of people did come over to the channel and they said thank you. I got spammed with some comments. Yeah, mad times. So as you can see, this is a little bit later on. So I obviously started with Pew's build and then I did Jack's one next and then went on to Laser Beams. And I honestly just remember the, those first two months of getting like these crazy kinds of views and like this mass viewership suddenly coming in was, I mean, it was overwhelming <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, it was, it was like nothing I'd experienced before, obviously. So yeah, big up Laser Beam, my guy. And so finally, we're on to Dan. His build was a little bit later on, but... I'm still surprised that he did manage to see it at the time, which was crazy. His one actually probably took the longest to do out of all of theirs because at his point when I transformed his base, he'd already done quite a lot in his series. I think when I first transformed Felix's base, he hadn't done a lot. Like you can see he's got Church of Water Sheep, he's got Meatball, he's got the original Ikea Tower. Like this was way back in the day. This was uh, early August. So realistically, he wasn't that far through the game. Jack realistically wasn't very far through the game at all. So I had to kind of maximize what I had at that time. Laser Beam was pretty far through it he wasn't really at the early stages he has pandas like he's got panda farm going on and all that so i really had to maximize the potential and yes i guess you could say that i could have waited until later on when they'd had a lot of their stuff done and then transformed it but if i did that then i would have been waiting until the end of the year because they were playing the game up until the end of the year and i'm sure that by that point someone else would have done it and honestly if i think back if i didn't upload that original transformation of felix's base and then doing all these other ones of these other youtubers as well i wouldn't be where i am now <laughs> so it's just it's crazy. And so finally, a little bit later, we're near the end of October, and Dan did his reaction to the base transformation that I did for him. So yeah, However, this took a long time, obviously, because he had so many episodes to go and through and again, watch, because obviously when I'm recreating YouTube it, I have to watch through their series to make sure I get it accurately. My entire house. Actually, recreated is the wrong word. They've completely rebuilt it. So <laughs> it's about basically, to see yeah. what this house would look That's like. The idea. If, why don't we go over to the video right now, react there to There were a lot of aspects to recreate and specific to things Minecraft that he'd done world. that Let's I had I to then do my own take on. My ideas. Let's watch. <laughs> so before we start this, the guy that made this video is called Trixie Blocks. It almost has a million views, has a great amount of likes, and you guys have been suggesting it's it to me like crazy. As has YouTube. <laughs> YouTube has just been trying to force this down my throat so here we go let's watch someone. that's another thing i think uh, it was kind of insane so because a lot of these youtubers were uploading minecraft videos their videos were getting mass amounts of views and i was uploading my transformations of their bases and i think it was getting put in the suggested section on the little recommended bar on the right for everyone apparently well, even Dan himself said that he's getting forced in his recommended or on his homepage. Like, he's seeing it everywhere. So when you think about it, it kind of makes sense because a lot of people that were watching those series, a lot of you guys that were watching that series probably saw my videos off to the side 
and clicked on it from there. My name is Oskip, and today I'll be transforming <laughs> Dan TDM's. It's so weird, legs. even hearing Here back seven or eight months ago to how my voice sounds then. Full of dread, as there was a lot of different builds to this Minecraft base, all being unique and varying in style and design. <laughs> That's because I suck at building. <laughs> thank you for unique design. <laughs> but I thank you for the compliments. Appreciate it. It's but what, uh, you, you know brain. what I meant by that? Like you had, sp he had, sp he had specific buildings per thing. Is he gonna do the whole thing? He's even got the sugar cane around the outside. Yeah, I did the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. As you realize, Some I people call me a madman. <laughs> I completely forgot and just realized as well. It's the entire video. He spends literally the entire video watching it. It's like what that's mad <laughs> i don't even know what to say like i'm still don't know what to say and it's been like nine ten months since this all happened either way i'm not gonna watch the entire creative, thing but that would have taken a long time so the effort alone to do that is mad there's the original castle there's my farms he's even got the iron farm the cactus farm bamboo randomly sprouted about vending machine horse stable my it's got a lot I think it's got it all the cinematography by the way is cool like really cool the time Thank lapses you. the way he's doing these fly throughs add that to the shaders as well this looks sick he's even it's got my um, wither in there in i the guess there's a reason it's because i did a lot of vfx so i studied that in in college and university a lot of you guys might not even know that i guess that's where i picked up getting a good idea of of camera angles and yeah cinematography and stuff like that but thank you <laughs> there it is recreated it kind of reminds me how much i've actually done in survival which is crazy. exactly Come that's when i did it it reminds you how much you've actually done it's completely flat wasteland even that was really cool i'm like how does he do this <laughs> i think he's using like world edit and stuff this is completely crazy. yeah it makes my life easier I using see world what edit for all the terrain editing with limited resources it, pasting it into to the sky my world. so the whole point of doing these transformations is to take what they built in survival and transform it in creative into something extreme something that you wouldn't usually build you're not going to usually build a massive cactus like this in survival like to this scale with all these different varying colors and materials get, let's get real it's not gonna happen oh dude that is cool look at the little extras he adds that's what i'm always missing from my builds those little extra touches that just make it go from like okay to amazing he's picked up on on those tips yeah if you guys watching add those little extra things fence gates walls all of that trap doors <laughs> That's what helps in your adding detail to your builds. Coming out of the back of the machine and oh, plugging what? it into the cliff face as a means of power. That's cool. I don't know how that's meant to work either, but it's Minecraft. He added so a plug into the side of the anyway, hill. This <laughs> guy's a genius. The same way as it did <laughs> that's the part that amazed him the most. It's <laughs> adding the <laughs> cable into the side of the hill. Oh, it's dude, you know what? Sand. I completely forgot that you could make a circle portal. I completely forgot you could change the shape of it. Look well, at that thing. It really. You can't technically. You can in survival, but you can't in creative. Wait, no. You can in creative, but you can't in survival. You can cheese it and hide it so that it's a square and hidden in here, but obviously I'm in creative, so I made it a circle and you Thinking can see I'm doing the usual nether portal in that cave like or in the rock. Section, like <laughs> in the side of a cliff, village. you know? I think that would be cool. <laughs> Wandering trader, still bothering him. Great. Uh, tr this guy follows me everywhere in all of my builds. <laughs> Literally. Anytime you want to do anything, he's always pushing his head in. Now that is a fishing boat. <laughs> All of this, by the way, just to house the tiny little XP farm down exactly. here. Exactly. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I included some That's what we go here for. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> Extremeness. <laughs> That's nice. I like that a lot. All of this so far is amazing, and he hasn't even done my castle yet. <laughs> it's just mad, but not, like the fact that he's going through and watching this entire video makes it even more insane. You better have kept my elevator, buddy. Just saying. Drawbridge as well? I didn't. <laughs> yes, I like that. Okay, I might steal that idea. The only <laughs> thing is, mass producing glass that has a die on it is way harder. See, the fact that they, not only just him, but like Jack did the same, like they come up and say, like, I'm going to steal that idea or I might use that. That's so crazy. <laughs> I, I understand that some of them are new to Minecraft. Not Dan, he's obviously done it loads, but new to. Well, wouldn't usually build like crazy huge projects like i do and the fact they openly address that 
they like the idea and all oh, they're going to use that or want to incorporate that into their idea. I know that Jack did the same, that once he'd seen my video, I remember watching later into his series and he took inspiration from the stuff that I'd done to his transformation and incorporated it into his base, which is, how cool is that? <laughs> right, here we go. Cinematic of the world. Ladies is that a dolphin? You added in a dolphin, didn't you? Just to spite me. <laughs> it was, it timed perfectly, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really like that. I've never seen a witch hut that looks like that. So even on my witch yeah, hut, I was I actually pretty happy the, with how I did that witch hut. Go into the water. I still haven't done that. Just and because it's so dark, like compact, I don't usually do small there's compact the throne, stuff. Like that. And there's the castle. Look at that thing. Oh, the before and after. This is the before. This is the after. <laughs> don't do that. I mean, <laughs> it's so competition. You can't I do that. You can't compare it. Don't, I need to do that. That's different. a great. That is so good, dude. He absolutely smashed that. That is. Awesome. That is not what I was expecting. I thought he would do just the castle, but he's done the entire world. I can't imagine how long that video would have taken to make. A long so time. I'm truly <laughs> Go check him out in the description below. Greatly appreciate so, it so much. Yeah, oh. it's, it's, it's very surreal, honestly. Those first few months from August, September, October were just crazy. Not only did I do that, but I did a bunch of other stuff as well. I did a subscriber-based transformation. I transformed my first build seven years later, which was really fun to do as well. And from all of that, that's where we're at now. This is how far we've come. And it's crazy. And I can't thank you guys enough <laughs> for sticking around and watching my stuff, honestly. From you seeing those videos in your recommended tab, uh, then coming to the channel and actually clicking subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully I'll keep trying to pump out good content that you guys can enjoy and who knows i might have some stuff coming up pretty soon which might entice some of you so i think that'll wrap things up for today i hope you guys enjoyed this little recap of what i've done through the past couple of months and also seeing my reaction to all of it because i kind of wanted to just share the experience because i know that a lot of people don't get this kind of opportunity and i never thought that i would just the thought of having some of your favorite youtubers that you've seen throughout the years posting content about stuff that you've done your content it's it's pretty surreal and i'm very blessed and thankful if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff then let me know obviously down in the comments i do want to do a few more videos where i just kind of sit down and talk to you or we do similar stuff to this where we go back and look at stuff so let me know if you like this kind of format i thought i'd also mention again i've got this fan art competition going on on my discord so make sure you check that out it's got one week left from when i upload this video so one week's time it will be done so if you want to get involved then go to the discord and make some fan art. Don't worry, I've not forgotten about the underground world transformation. I am doing that still. It's coming, it's in the works. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.